Anyway, that's everyone. I'd better get on back to Mr. Morton. Do I have to? Does oh, Jesus Christ! That actually scared the Jesus out of me. Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play The Man From The Window, I'm your host Magic Man Mo. This game was suggested to me in the comments in my last video and I thought hey why not let's check it out. Also apparently it has a sequel so maybe that, maybe we'll play that as well. But I'm no stranger to individuals in the window so I thought well, if, if, I've, if I can play the girl in the window I can play the man from the window. Let's hit the start button, start new game, press X now to skip the in- um, I don't want to skip anything I've never played before. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello! This is a door! Hello, door! My name is Mo! Bakery. What is that? Bartleby's? Bartleby's Bakery! What do I got? A cake? A pizza? I'm sure it's a bakery. Is it a big cookie? Have I got a giant cookie cake? Look at this. <laughs> Just... I don't know... I don't know what to say about this character. I love her... ears. <laughs> it is very late out. Like, is it... Is it, like, in the middle of the night? When does our bakery close? Ooh. Hello. Oh, my stars, I am tired. Hoo woo, what a long day. That's, that's what we sound like. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. But that's just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. I better try to get some sleep. Gonna need to be up early, bright and early. Be up early, bright and early to cook breakfast for the little one. Little one, I repeat myself, repeat myself. Little one. Oh. Is that the little one? Am I going to bed just on the couch or what? You are a little one. You're a teeny tiny tot. You got a big book. The book is as big as the kid. Look at that, Junior. Mama, mama. <laughs> Junior, what on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But mama, the man from the book is gonna get me. Huh? What man? There ain't no man in books. There's man in windows if the game, of the, if the title of this game is to be believed. What book? The man in my storybook. See? Uh, the man from the window. Oh, okay. That's just I love the face. I love the creepy uh, Thomas the tank engine face on it. The man from the window. Give it here. All right. Yeah, what, what's it about? What's this? I've never seen this book before. Where'd you get this junior? You know, you're not allowed to read <laughs> the man from the window is quite the odd fellow The text the text of the book doesn't like to stay on the book with his big beady eyes and sunken nose Why he just wants to say hello. Is this a rhyming story? As he smiles from ear to ear the man wanders the quiet night through alleys and backyards He goes making very sure to stay out of sight he silently peers through windows, searching for one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants, for the man is very, very lonely. Once you hear his tap, tap, tapping at the window, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before he takes you away. But do not fret, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes, and he'll leave. The man has no friends, no family, no son, and no daughter. Next, he will check the place which holds water. Next? What do you mean next? You just told me a fact about his no family, and then you said next! The man, indeed, is very, very bold. Soon he will check inside the place which is cold. The man is in his element, doing what he does best. Next, he will look under the place where you often rest. The man has no use for trinket or token. You will now check under the place where bread is broken. The man will walk, then he will lurch. The place under the mirror is where he will search. Oh, Junior, this is just one of those scary books people write. You're too young to be reading this kind of stuff. It'll scare your little mind half to death. But Mama, I saw him outside, I really did. It's just a book, sweetie, it ain't real. Now get that cotton tail off the bed right now. At this rate, you won't want, uh, want to wake up in the... Uh-huh. Oh god, am I gonna hear the tap 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 tap? I hear the tap tap tap. I don't see the tap tap tap. My screen is kind of dark, so I can't see super good. It's him! He's out there! Calm, 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 calm down now, Junior. Whatever's out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't a monster. Oh. Junior? Yes? Where'd you get this book from? It was on the, sh on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Oh dear lord, this ain't good. Who has access to my apartment? Who's been sneaking inside? Oh god, I can move. 
Hey, buddy, you are so tiny. And I can, I can see my chest from, uh, well, I guess that checks out. There's an eyeball there. Uh, do I have like five minutes to make, oh, I better take my keys with me. I picked up some key. Oh, oh okay, I got, I've got keys. Uh, this is probably where bread is broke or whatever. This is a sink. Do I have to, I, oh God, there ain't no way I'm fit in there to hide, but Junior probably could. That's like a refrigerator, maybe? It looks like a cabinet, but I think it's a refrigerator. That's pretty cold. The book said something about cold. Oh, okay. Bathtub. Can I, tur like, turn the blinds down? I might be able to hide myself in that wash tub. That seems like a terrible idea. That looks like a really pokey brush. But I ain't hiding until Junior is safe and hidden somewhere. So we gotta hide Junior first? Uh, that's underneath a sink. I don't feel good about... Can I close the blinds? Is there... Oh, I can run. Oh, I can run. Can I do that? I don't like the idea of whoever's out there being able to see, like, inside. Can I close this door? Closey, closey. There you go. What's in the bed? I don't think we can hide under the bed, right? There's a lamp just on the floor. I feel that. Did we just recently move in? I don't... Uh, under bed? What, can I read the... Can I read the book again? Man from the... Uh, he just wants to say hello. Stay out of sight. Very lonely. Five minutes. He'll leave. Place, uh, check the place which holds water. That's the tub. Uh, inside the place which is, that's a fridge. Uh, place of rest. Bread is broke. Place under the mirror is where he'll search. So we don't want to, how do I get rid of this? So, oh, I got keys. What do I do with keys? Oh, can I like lock the door? I hope the door's already locked, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe I can lock, uh, maybe I can lock all these, uh, yeah, doors so that I'll like slow him down or something. I don't. Where where are we? Where are we hiding? Okay, uh, Junior, you're going under the sink. How do I do that, Junior? Junior, can you go on the couch? This couch is nice and sturdy. I could probably push it in front of the door. Oh, we should do that. Should I? It'll take about two minutes. I don't think I have two minutes. Uh, sure, move it. <laughs> How long have we been doing this? I think we're gonna die. There, that, we're good. We're beautiful. I don't know if I can, um, uh, buddy, where are we hiding you? Can I, can I, oh, I locked the door. I can't get, <laughs> so it does lock the door. Oh, okay, okay, so can I, like, get under here? The sink cabinet is way too snug for me to hide down there, but Junior definitely could. All right, so do I hide Junior here or what? Am I just, wait, do I have to hide or are we just looking around? I don't know how to hide people. Do I need to look at the controls? All right, I've locked, I've locked all the doors. We're gonna stand and fight. <laughs> We're gonna stand. When he shows up, Junior, I need you to hide beside the door, trip him, and when he goes down, I'm gonna give him the old people's elbow. <laughs> it was exactly, I don't know what I'm doing. We accomplished nothing. We moved a couch and locked the doors and we have no escape now. <laughs> This was terrible. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. Good lord. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break the barricaded door. So that's a minute and a half of his time. So he's got like three and a half minutes to find us. I mean, he's gonna find us. <laughs> but that's how much, that's how long we have to like survive, right? Here I am just chilling in the middle of the room. The man had found his new friend. At least Junior is safe. No, Junior! <laughs> God dang it. I, right after I said that. Blue light? Blue, blue light, orange light? He has to be nearby still. Ain't no way they've gotten to this, uh, gotten far this quick. I'll go find him myself if I have to. I ain't lying. The man broke in and just took him. I couldn't stop him. Please, someone, just find him, please. So I guess we go running out into the, into the night to go find the man from the window. Is that what we do? That was the man from the window. Okay, well, obviously we need to try again. What are the controls? Move, run, cycle inventory, interact, advance, QE to turn pages, left click, lock, holding, okay. I never had the chance to hide it. How do I hide people? Um, is the book clues going to be different? Are they random? Uh, we need to keep notes of where we can hide people. And it looks like some places are too small for my voluptuous body to hide it. <laughs> Look, everybody's body is a temple. Mine just happens to be the best. <laughs> All right, Junior, give me the book. Hand it over. Man from the window, what are we looking at? What the freak am I looking at? Where are we going? 
odd fellow, wants to say hello, quiet night, out of sight. He wants to, says, says making very sure. I'm still worried about the blinds being open. I'm going to be honest with you. He silently, he silently peers through window. He, he peers through windows. Maybe I can turn the lights off? I don't feel good about the blinds being open. Like, he, window is a part of the guy's name. All right, well, he's searching through windows. New friend is all he wants. All right, found a new, uh, five minutes before he takes me away. I hope that this, it's not counting the time right now. It hasn't tap, tap, tapped yet. Staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Next, you'll look under the place where you often rest. So I think, I think this is in a different order. We often rest under a bed, so not the bed. You'll now check the place under which the bread is broken. I assume that's the table, like the dining room table. Soon he'll check inside the place which is cold. I assume a refrigerator. The place which holds water, I assume is the tub. It could be the bathroom sink. The place under the mirror is where he'll search. That's got to be under the bathroom sinks. I don't think anything in the bathroom is going to be a good place. And I think in the bedroom, we only have the bed. In the bathroom, we only have the tub and the mirror. Both of those places, off limits, I think. Well, unless we gotta hide in one of the last places he looks, but he'll run out of time. Because in the living room, we really only have the table and the refrigerator. And that's it, question mark? Okay, so maybe we need to make sure we hide in the last places possible. I don't know how long it takes him to search places since we didn't get to find out before. Well, but we can lock the doors, too. Okay, here we go. Tap, 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 tap. I still think we gotta close these blocks. Maybe there's like a little cord. There's like a cord I can interact with. I don't feel good about that. Can I turn the light off? Turn the, f turn the light off? No? Okay. Well, we want to move the couch, I think. It's gonna take me two minutes. Move it in front of the door. I don't got much time. I got to take my keys. And then we got to, what, where, oopsie, where is the last places he's going to look? Um, uh, rest, bread, cold, so place which holds water and under the mirror. I think we got to get to go to the bathroom. That's like the last place he's going to go is the bathroom. The last place he's heading is that bathroom. So, okay, I'm going to lock the, oh my, crap, crap, crap. We didn't lock the door. Is it locked? I hope it is. It made a noise. I don't know. Junior, Junior, you gotta go. You gotta go in here. You gotta hide under the. You gotta hide in here. The sink cabinet is too snug. But Junior definitely. Could. Junior, God bless America. Where are you? <laughs> follow me, darn you, huh? Junior, yeah. uh, follow me, you nerd. Okay, <laughs> get in. Get in the. Get in the cabinet. You're going in. Hide Junior under the cabinet. Junior, you stay right down there. Don't you move a muscle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like skipping. Well, it's because I'm worried about running out of time. Uh, keys, close the door, lock the door. Um, this window is open. That makes me very nervous. I'm just, I'm just gonna hide in the wash tub. <laughs> I don't know. Can I close the windows? <laughs> He's looking through the windows. All right, let's see if we did it. Let's see if we did it right. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the door. The door had been locked. Yes, it worked. Man spent nearly, uh, 30 seconds trying to open it. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. It's a minute and a half. Fantastic. Love it. I don't like, I don't like this is where we're going. The time was now 2.01. 2.01 and 30 seconds. Don't you discount my 30 seconds game. I know how much time he's been spending. And I, I don't remember where he's supposed to be going first. The bed, right? The bedroom. Don't turn right. Oh, oh maybe he wasn't looking through the windows. The bedroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bedroom door lock off. That's 2. It's 2.02. It's been 2 minutes. The time was 2.02. Fantastic. Love to see it. The man looked under the bed. Da, 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 da. There's a spider down here. <laughs> he found nothing. How long does it take to look? Did that cost him 30 seconds? Okay. Okay. Where's he going? Going to the table? That's okay. Oh, I'm scared, mama. The man looked under the table. Oh no, more spiders. Why are there so many spiders here? I, I wish. But he found nothing. Who's, who is the man from the window? Who is this guy? 2.03 a.m. We've got to survive two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. The man looked inside the fridge. Could you imagine hiding in the fridge? He found nothing. It's like 2.03 and 30. 2.04! It's 2.04! Oh, God. The bathroom door had been locked. 30 seconds. Isn't that going to leave him with 30 seconds? And there I am! I'm in the... <laughs> 
I think he found me. The man looked inside the wash tub. Hi, hi, honey. Can I get you something? The man had found his new friend. At least Junior is safe. We saved Junior. I sacrificed myself as tribute. Maybe I could have hidden somewhere else. I don't know. Oh no, Junior, he's all alone. What are you gonna do? Is there a father in this picture? An uncle? A grandma? Mama! The man is gone. You can come out now. Really? He's gone. Mama? You can stop hiding. Please? No, Junior! Well, I feel bad, but um, Junior's got more life to live. This is, the, this is the best ending. I accept this. I'm gonna quit the game now. No, I'm just kidding. We gotta save everybody somehow, some way. Maybe there's another... Could I have locked the refrigerator? Maybe. I better take my keys with me. Can I lock the refrigerator? There ain't no way I'm fitting down there, but Junior probably could. Well, that's not what we were trying to accomplish. Is there anything in the toilet? Not the toilet, the bucket. And I gotta find another way to either slow him down or a different... Oh, donuts. Oh, I can open the box of donuts? Don't open the- eat the- eat the donut. No, I'm gonna open the box. Maybe that's a distraction. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, cold bread. No, bread. Bread- bread and tub. Um. Oh, Junior. Junior, you gotta go- you gotta go over here. <laughs> junior, Junior. Follow me, Junior. I'm all- I gotta be almost out of time. Junior, you're going under the table. Hopefully he won't see you past the donuts. <laughs> He's not gonna see you past the go. Don't be, don't be scared, Junior. We ain't got time for your back talking. I gotta get to the bathtub. I gotta lock this door, and then we gotta not lock this door. I gotta get in here. I gotta close the door. I gotta lock the door. I gotta hide the bathtub. I don't need your back talk right now, Junior. I hope that worked. I'm going in the tub. I'm going in the wash tub. It's my only hope. Please, bathtub. You're our only hope. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door had been locked. The man spent only 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. A large and heavy couch had been pushed in front of the door. It took the man an entire minute to break through the barricaded door. Da, da, da. I can see like a little bit of Junior under that. I see him blinking. The time was 2.01 a.m. Okay. He's gonna eat the donuts. The man spotted a box of donuts sitting on the table. He ate all of them. He did! He ate all of them! The man took an entire minute to eat them all. Yes! The time was now 2.02 a.m. He's gonna go into the bathroom first, but he's not gonna check the tub, which is hilarious. <laughs> the bathroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bathroom door lock off. <laughs> there I am! But he's not gonna check. He, he doesn't know nothing. He's stupid. The time was now 2.03 a.m. Gonna check under the sink. The man looked under the sink. There was nothing there. He found nothing. Fantastic. He's gonna go to the bedroom next. The bedroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bedroom door lock off. Yeah. The time was now 2.04 a.m. The man looked under the bed. But he found nothing. I think that's 205. I think you're done. Oh, he's got to check the refrigerator. That's right. He hadn't done the refrigerator yet. The man looked inside the fridge. But he found nothing. That should make it 205. Yay! The time was now 205 a.m. The man's time was up, and he knew it. So he, as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. There he goes! I think, I think he phased through the wall just a little bit, just that. We win! Yeah, just clo I'm just gonna close this door. I still don't feel good about the window blinds being open. Mama, is he gone? He's gone, don't you worry. Hooray! I knew you could do it. Oh no! What? Mama, he ate all the donuts. I wanted one. Oh my goodness, child, don't scare me like that. I'll bring you some fresh ones from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior? Huh? No more cursed books, alright? I ain't up to dealing with that again. But what are we gonna do about the woman from the door? The who? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. 
Oh, good lord. What am I gonna do with you, huh? He is so tiny. <laughs> he is the size of one of my feet. <laughs> the man from the window. Yay! We did it! Okay, that was kind of fun. That was kind of neat. Oh, I got a little star for that. I don't know if that just means I, I beat it. I don't, I don't know if there's like a s secret ending or not. Let me know if there is. Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play The Man From The Window 2. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Now, this game cost me a whole dollar to download, so I need you all to do me a favor, okay? I spent the dollar. I need you to hit that like button and share with your friends, okay? I would appreciate it, all right? Like, I'm doing this for you. You gotta do that for me. Deal? Deal. Capiche? Capiche. We're gonna start the game. <laughs> Select a mode. In normal mode, you're given a notepad to help keep track of things. Do we need that? No, we're gonna go tough. We're gonna we'll see how many things I need to keep track of. Oh gosh. I got a phone. We've really upgraded the apartment. We've got a really wide window. Oh, I got a new like a uh, like bandana. I, I, I think I'm grayed out a little bit. Oh, I'm like older. Mama rabbit. Hey, Junior. How many years has passed? Junior's not tiny anymore. Junior's a uh, big junior. Hey, Ma. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a few minutes left to spare before my break's over. So I figured I'd give you two a call just to check in, you know? Oh, thank you, hon. We're both fine over here. I found a few extra dollars in my purse, so we ordered some takeout. You just found a couple extra bucks? Like, what do you mean? I mean, I don't, I don't keep money in a bag, so I guess, you know what, uh, who am I to, who am I to talk? Shouldn't take too much longer to get here, I'd reckon. Awesome, awesome, y'all too enjoy. I'd better get on off this phone and get back to work then. Where's he working, like a warehouse? He working in like uh, an Amazon warehouse, a U UPS or something like that? We've got a bunch of stuff to move out of here tonight and it's my turn to drive the forklift. <laughs> Tell little Missy I said hello, would ya? Who's little Missy? Will do, hon. Thanks, Ma, we'll talk later. Maybe, oh, maybe Junior's got a kid. Am I babysitting? Maybe I'm babysitting. Audrey? I think we're babysitting. Oh, look at her! Yeah, Grandma? Your papa says hello. He's still at work? Yep, he called during his break. Now, did you finish that homework of yours yet? I hate that, like, Junior called us on the phone to say hi, and we didn't hand the phone to Audrey to say hi. Audrey just got completely ghosted by her own dad. That's rude. That's so rude. Yeah, I did, Grandma. Good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, I don't like knocks on the door. Oh, that's probably the food. I'll get it. I hope so. If it's just literally the man from the window immediately, I'm going to be a little upset. What's up with this long hallway? Huh, I could have sworn I heard someone out here knock. Didn't you, Audrey? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, it's the man from the window book. Oh, my stars. Here we go again. Audrey, he's back. The man? Uh-huh. He sure is annoying, ain't he? Wait, how many times has this happened? Why does Aud Junior would know about this? Has this happened with me and Audrey before? How often does this happen? Isn't he, hon? I don't want you. I don't want you. To I don't want you speaking messed up English like Grandma does. But yes, he is. It's not messed up English. It's perfectly acceptable English. We're gonna go through that book together this time, okay? And I want you to pay close attention, Audrey. Your papa and I ain't always gonna be here, so you need to know how to do this for yourself. I understand, Grandma. I think. Time will pass. The seasons may change. We know that nothing can ever stay the same. But still, the man continues to play his twisted game. For the simplest of requests is all he's ever wanted. In his unending search, these dark streets he has haunted. It doesn't quite work. Once night falls, you'll know he's on the prowl. Keep far away, else you'll meet a fate that is assur assuredly most foul. A faint tapping at one's window has always been his herald. So spend these next five minutes wisely, or you may find yourself suddenly imperiled. Okay. Now proceed with caution and proceed with haste. For the man has learned that there's no time to waste. Oh. The rest of the pages have been tor torn out? Well, that ain't good at all. The rest of the pages ain't there. I'd better get moving and find him. What do you mean find him? They were at... Uh, we just picked this up at the front door. Is this one of them? Okay, can I open the freezer? There's a 
can I flip flip flop flip flop the light? This boxes. It's our kitchen's closet. All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I have to like click on stuff to reveal the page. I got one page. So there's what? There's a page. I got two pages. There's a page probably right here with a pencil on it. That don't count. That's probably the notebook on the easy mode that I refuse to do. <laughs> Oh, I've got many doors, or at least two anyway. There's a bedroom over here. Yeah, there's a page right there, 755. Oh, I closed the blinds. That's a thing in this game. I called it. It's Audrey's bed. I knew that this was going to be a thing. Is the bathtub just, I hope it's not a bathtub. Is that the bathtub just in the hallway? Oh, congratulations to Ms. Ms. Diane Rabbit on your retirement after 38 years of faithful service at Bartleby's Bakery. That's nice. There's lots of doors. Do I have all the pages? I might. Can I open this? It's nice having an actual bathtub. Okay, so we don't shower in the, like, actual just bucket. That's a closet. Okay. I didn't find my keys. Can I close this? 7.56. I got, like, four minutes left. Do I have keys somewhere? All right, can I read this? There's still some pages left to put back in here. How do I... Well, how do I... I picked up many pages. I picked up so many pages. You cannot... You cannot tell me that I'm missing a page. Am I missing another page? Is this a thing? Oh, Lord. Is there one actually out here? Still? Oh, my God, there is. Can I go down here? Why can I go down here? There's a page! What the frick? Oh, I'm, I don't like this. I don't like that I can go all the way down here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I gotta be done. That's gotta be everything. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to figure this out. There we go. There ought to be one more page around here. So, one more. Wait, how many pages have I picked up? Audrey, you got a page? Audrey, I need you to listen up. What's the first thing we're supposed to do when this happens? Uh, this is important, Audrey. I know you know this, hon. The pages? We gotta put the pages back in the book before we hide. Because the man got angry and tore them out. That's right. Okay, well, we're screwed. We are, we are borked, friends. But friends, we are done. Friends, we are done. Stick a fork in me. Done. It's our clothes hamper. There's nothing in my clothes hamper. I got three minutes. Actually, I, I, I've got more time than it felt like I had. Somehow. Oh, look at this mirror. <laughs> it's kind of goofy shaped. It's like a circus mirror. You sure I can't open this? Is it in the bathtub? I'm gonna be real cross if it's in there. It's the hall closet. The roof leaks when it rains, so we took everything out of here, out of there. Oh, really? Are we sure it's not this? Oops, I can push Audrey around with my boobs. I can give her a little boob scoot. Oh, there she goes. She walks back into place. All right, well, what time is it? Are we, are we screwed yet? We've got ha less than a minute left. There's no, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. I can't open any of these drawers. There ain't no way. There ain't no way, no shot! Is it on the back side of one of these? Oh my god, is it on the back side of one of the doors? Oh my god, if it's on the back side of a door, I would have never noticed. It was exactly 8 p.m. That's much earlier than 2 a.m. When the man approached the entrance door. I never found keys yet either. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night. This time, the man was ready. He had a gun. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, he's bolting up that door. Oh, Jesus! Hi! The man had finally found his new friend. No, not Audrey! Take me! Junior, I got some bad news, man. The time was exactly midnight when Junior received an unexpected call from... Why did I wait four hours to call Junior? Wow. From the other side of the phone emitted a series of distorted and indiscernible sounds? What? And after a few moments, the line went dead. Knowing full well that something was amiss, Junior immediately rushed home. What would he find upon his return? Only time would tell. Oh, we didn't call him. I don't know who called him, but it wasn't us. Should we try the notepad? We'll try it. I don't think we need a notepad. Oh God. I'm gonna skip that. Oh, is this the notepad? So maybe as you do things, things will like go or whatever. There ought to be one more page out here. Some Audrey, could you like help look? Oh wait, I didn't check it here. Poop. Oh, I can actually crouch. There we go. I was trying to do that before. It's the kitchen sink cabinet. Is there something? Can I have opened the oven? Is there any of these cabinets that open? 
Kitchen sink, the fridge, kitchen closet. Okay, I think they might be listing all the places we could hide, maybe? After we've like clicked on them, perhaps? Cushions of the couch, couch cushions. Couch cushions, couch cushions, get your butt scratcher. Butt scratcher, oh this, oh my God, this opens up, ah! <laughs> Oh my lord. Okay, well that wasted enough of our time. There we go. What do we got here? Not many things could stop the man. Neither force nor containment. Now he will look under the box, watched for entertainment. The man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where clothes are washed. Oh, that's what we use the bucket for now is we're like washing clothes. Finding a friend is a priority for the man and nothing could be dearer. Next, he will check the place under the mirror. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he will look in the place where food is stored. All these years the man has searched, his quest has never he never forsook. The empty room is where he will look will next look. Despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. He will next check under the place where you sleep. So there's I feel like more I don't know how to get out of it. There. there we go. There's more places. Oh. Ah, so you can get like a list of things and cross off the things so that you can like know where to hide because i don't think yeah we don't have keys so we need to have a place we need to know where he's not gonna look so not the tv not the clothes washing uh not under the mirror not in the fridge not in the closet not the bed so i think the shower is fine and maybe even the kitchen closet it's our kitchen closet either of us could hide in there yeah grandma follow me you nerd okay sure we're gonna stick you in the shower if I could. It's nice having an actual bath. Audrey, get in there. Since I know for sure that I can hide in the uh, kitchen closet. I think I did this right. I think I closed the blinds. I think I, I've done everything I know to do, I think. It's our kitchen closet. I can hide in here too, I suppose. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah, I don't know. It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. I hope I remembered all those rhymes. I might not have. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. There he goes. There he- Oh! He really barrels in here. The man looked inside the TV stand. But he found nothing. How much time has passed? The man looked inside the old wash tub. Where we now wash clothes, but he found nothing. He's gonna check underneath the mirror. That's fine. Oh my god, his legs! You can see part of him! The man looked under the bathroom sink. That guy's terrifying! But he found nothing. The man looked inside the fridge! But he found nothing. Where's he going? Oh yeah, the bed. The man looked inside the hall closet. Oh, the hall closet, rather, yeah. But he found nothing. That's like everything, right? Are you done? Okay, there's a bed. The man looked under the bed! But he found nothing. The time was now 8.02. It's only been two minutes! And though he still had plenty of time left, the man had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. What? He had like three more minutes. That makes me nervous. Yeah, and stay gone this time! Don't think you can just run in here and mess with grandma and me because I'll Oh god, knock knock. That's got to be the food though. That's the ta that's the takeout food. I don't like that there's no person here, just the bag. Audrey, honey, you don't need to be scared. It's just the takeout we ordered. Audrey. Oh, what am I going to do with that child? I don't like that there wasn't someone there to deliver the food. They just left the bag and dipped. I don't trust that food, not even a little bit. I got a star! So does anything, does anything different happen if I like beat it on the tough mode? I don't like, I don't know. We'll try, we'll try, we'll try tough. See if I can get two stars this time. 
Two stars. The man is happiest when his hunt for a friend is afoot. His next move is to search the place where boxes were put. Not finding a friend is an outcome the man won't accept. He will next look where the unclean clothes are kept. Smiling ear to ear, the man's always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with a cabinet underneath. Not many things could stop the man, neither force nor containment. Now he will look under the box, watch for entertainment. Completely focused, the man's demeanor is scathing. He will now search the place reserved for bathing. Despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. He will next check under the place where you sleep. Finding a friend is a priority for the man, and nothing could be dearer. Next, he will check the place under the mirror. All these years, the man has searched. His quest he never forsook. The empty room is where next he will look. Wait, there was eight this time. Was there eight last time? I got lots of time, though. We're going to stick you in the refrigerator, Audrey, if I can. <laughs> Follow me! Okay, sure. It's the fridge. Audrey, get in there. You're gonna go join the jello shot. Empty room. Where Where can I hide? It's that clothes hamper. No. Oh my god. Wait, Audrey. Can, can, can I fit in the refrigerator? Oh, wait, no. Clothes are capped. Oh, so that. Wait, he's not checking the tub. He's checking the hamper. So the tub should still be safe, right? Because it's for washing clothes, not, not keeping old clothes. Yeah. I think this is it. Yeah, that was Trixie. That was Trixie! You almost got me, gang! It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. I don't think it said fridge. If you go straight for the fridge, I'm gonna be upset. I did leave the door open on this by mistake. The man looked inside the kitchen closet. But he found nothing. Good show so far. Okay, okay. The man looked inside the clothes hamper. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the sink cabinet. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the TV stand. But he found nothing. I did forget to close some of these doors. The man looked into the bathtub. Ooh, but he found nothing. The man looked under the bed. But he found nothing. Uh, he's gotta be almost done, right? Almost, oh, his legs though. The man looked under the bathroom sink. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the hall closet. But he found nothing. The time was now 8.03. And though he still had plenty of time left, the man had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. That took him like, uh... Didn't it only take two minutes last time? He took like three, well, because there was two more places to check. Is there a way to, like, stall him for two minutes and then some... Oh, yeah, because if we stall him for two more minutes, would the takeout person be out there when he, like, tries to leave? Yeah, and stay gone this time. Don't, don't think you can just run in here and mess with me, with Grandma and me, because I'll... Knock, knock. Uh, never mind. Oh, Audrey didn't go run... Who are you, J.P. Vermander? Howdy there, ma'am. He's got the basket of food this time, though. What? I've got an order here for a Miss Diane. That's me. Finally. I'm starving after all that hiding. Let's eat. His name was Jonathan on his, uh, on his tag. But his name was, J like, J.P. Vermander. It said 1.22 a.m. On the, on the oven. I saw that. That's Junior. I don't see us anywhere. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, okay. I'm here. All right. Oh, hey, Ma. You sure are up late, aren't you? Uh-huh. I was wa waiting to tell you about something. Yeah, what's up? The man showed up again today. Oh, no. Is Audrey okay? No worry, hon. She's fine. But I wanted to tell you that she has handled herself really well tonight, all considering. It won't be too long before she's ready to deal with the man all by herself, I'd reckon. That's my girl. She's one tough cookie, all right. She takes after her grandma, you know. Well, ain't that the truth? Thanks, hon. 
now that I told you that, I'd better get to bed. Good night, Junior. Good night, Ma. See you in the morning. Who was J.P. Vermander? Who was J.P. Vermander? I got two stars. Hey, so there was like a secret ending because we didn't get that on the normal. There was a secret ending. Was there a secret ending in the first game? There wasn't a difficulty mode. Who's J.P. Vermander? <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Play the Vermander Curse. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Okay, so I'm going crazy. So maybe the maybe the rabbit hole goes deeper than I ever imagined. I thought the man in the window had a sequel and it did. I didn't know it would have a cameo to another game by Zed Technician. Are we gonna just play all of Zed Technician's games? I don't know, but this is the Vermander curse. And seeing as we were visited by a certain JP Vermander in um, a man from the man from the window two, I thought we should play this so that we know what's maybe going on. I'm gonna hit new game. Start your new game, yes. I want to know who JP Vermander is. The mystery abounds. You wanted to see me, Mr. Vermander, sir? It's the guy. It's our man, I think. That's a face I've seen before. J.P. Vermander. Are you the guy that delivered me food before, like just a little bit ago? Hedda, why aren't this month's profits as high as last month's? I've been looking over that piece of paper you gave me earlier, and I don't like all the numbers on it. I can't make heads or tails out of that dang thing. They raised the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction, remember, sir? They did what? When was this? Sir, I've, I've been re reminding you about this for like the last eight months, but it's actually fine, though. You still end up saving way more money than if you didn't get the deduction, so... With the good Lord as my witness, I am being swindled. I will not stand for this. No one gets over on J.P. Vermander. No, sir! Not now, and not ever. But, but sir... Now then, where have I been donating all my hard-earned money to again? The hospital, sir. Hospital? Which one? There's only one in town, sir. The only hospital in this godforsaken backwater town. And they still have the nerve to swindle me out of my money? Hmm. Well, I know exactly how to handle a situation like this. Prepare the ritual, Hannah, and go fetch me my robes. The ritual? But Mr. Van Mender, sir, but please, this is entirely uncalled for. The people in that hospital have done nothing to you, sir. Besides, the difference in profits between this month and last month is only about 1% less, sir. That's nice and all, Hannah, but I don't remember asking. Now go, we don't have time to waste. Notify me immediately when everything is ready. Oh boy, <laughs> this escalated quickly. Hannah's regretting ever coming through that door. Okay, sir. Uh, goodbye. Okay. So how, how, how does, if JP Vermander, what the f <laughs> what? I know there's rabbit people in this universe, but I was not expecting the, <laughs> this rat faced nurse Morton. I'm sorry, man. Your face threw me for a loop just now. I forgot what I was about. I was about to say something. I don't even, oh yeah. How does JP Vermander go from being like Richie McRich Rich to delivering my food and the, the man from the window too? Hello? Hello? Anyone home? No? Uh, I hear ya, I hear ya. Give a ga- Oh, someone else is saying- I hear ya, I hear ya. Give a gal a minute. Oh my, this is what I'm talking about. There's something about the character models. They have a certain spice to them. Yeah? Dr. Ida or Edna? Uh, hello there, Dr. Ida, I presume? That's me. Who's asking? Fantastic. I'm Morton, the nurse whose transfer request you received. Transfer request? What in the world are you talking about? You aren't aware? Surely you've read the email concerning me. We don't get no regular internet out here, sonny boy. The only thing we can get out here is that old satellite connection, and we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, then I ain't about to go complaining. You got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm only saying this once. I'm all ears, doctor. 
What am I looking at? When patients come in, I write their information down on this here clipboard. Patient name Lang Boyd. Reason, severe back injury, next dosage, 11 p.m., room number 7A. A is a letter, not a number. Patient named Tammy Giles, tooth removal, no dosage, in 3A. And Jane Doe, severe hand injury, next dosage, 12 a.m., room number 5A. All right. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? No! Okay. I hope I didn't have to memorize all that. I already forgot all of it. The waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am, and ain't none of them are worth reading no more. Oh my. Okay. And these here are the rooms. We got eight rooms. Three are occupied and the rest eight. Mr. Langboard is over in room 7A. He had a pretty bad back injury, but we fixed him right up. Miss Tammy Giles is in room 3A. She needed one of them teeth pulled, and we ain't got many options for anesthetic. So I gave her some of that old-fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. You know, just a shot of whiskey, wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. I'll share it with you if you're nice. She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. Impressive. There's a woman over in 5A, too. Poor thing cut her hand up real bad on her job, then tried to hide it. Her boss found out and sent her here. I ain't managed to figure out her name, so I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Ah, a mystery. I wonder who she is. We ain't known to ask too many questions around here, Mr. Morton. We're here to help. Got it? Understood, Doctor. That there is the big exit door. <laughs> we got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. We keep our medicine supply in the uh, operating room, but most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't paying to refill it. What kind of podunk, like, scanty butt hospital is this? And there ain't nothing ever in the fridge, so don't even bother checking. I'm definitely checking the fridge. Does anything in this hospital function as intended? Not really. And that's about it. Let's head on back to the front desk so we can get you signed in and start your first shift. Let's phase through the wall. It'll be a lot faster. <laughs> that old sign-in sheet is somewhere over there. I suggest you go ahead and start searching for it yourself, because I ain't going to go be bothered by it. Understood, doctor. I'll find it. In the meanwhile, I'd better go make my rounds and check up on the patients. Come and get me if you need something. Okay, are, are we... Oh, oh, I'm the... I'm, I thought I was going to be the nurse. I'm the doctor. I like how I can see my giant freaking nose. I mean, I'm like an anteater. My giant freaking nose when I look down. I can, like, point at things with my nose. Um, is there anything I should do in here before I do that? Can I go in the waiting room? Oh, I can. I like the carpet. Assuming it's not stained with rust. These are my magazines, I guess? That's a giant plant. I don't know if I've ever seen a waiting room just literally be its own glassed-in room before. You know what I mean? Like, you would just take a seat here or something. Like, why is there... Why is there a wall in glass? Like, why is this walled in? <laughs> like, I've never seen that before. Well, there's no one in 1A, but let's just take a peek, see if there's anyone in here that shouldn't be. 1.23 a.m. Uh, so... It wasn't somebody's next dosage at midnight, so that was a while ago. And someone had a dosage at, like, 11 p.m. So no one's getting a dosage right now. Wait. Oh, 9.28 p.m. 9.29 p.m. I read that entirely wrong earlier. So I'm making my round. So someone at 11 is going to need a dosage. I forget who. Look at me. I am just beautiful. I am a thing of majesty. Uh, hello, this is what everyone's character model has a certain voluptuousness to them. I'm just saying. How you feeling, dear? Hey, Dr. Ida. What are you doing here? Still ain't sobered up yet, huh? Nope. That's fine, dear. At least that tooth ain't gonna bother you no more. Just give us some time and try to get some rest, okay? Okay. I'm just, make, I'm just making my rounds. I'm leaving all the doors open, just in case. In case of what? I don't know. There's another bathroom. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Okay. 5A then. Hello? How you doing? You must be Jane Doe. How you doing, dear? Okay. Hand is fine. No? 
You ain't got nothing to worry about. It'll regrow back, regrow back. Good as new. I mean, I guess so, because octopus. Good. Thank you. You're most welcome, dear. Try to get some rest, and I'll check back in later. Yes, yes. I gave, um, oh yeah, you're all banished up. I gave, uh, I gave Jane Doe and Ida here very similar voices. There's no way I'm going to get that confused later. <laughs> There's no way I'm screwing that up later. No way. No way, Jose. Oh, good God. <laughs> you look like a... Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep on moving. No, we're fine. You're fine. You're just a very scary wolf and his girlfriend or something. What, what is your name again? Everything all right in here? I'm fine, Doc. Lang boy, that's right. Matter of fact, I feel like I could walk out of this right here, right now. <laughs> See, he can't even laugh without it hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Lang baby. Please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. We can pay someone else to clean the gutters. But did he listen? No! He waited until I left for work and then tried to get up there himself. One little gust of wind and next thing you know, bam! Straight into the hedges. You know, I could have done, uh, done it if the wind hadn't picked up. And those meddling kids hadn't showed up. That's not the point. You shouldn't have been up there in the first place. Doctor, can you please give this man something to fix his terminal lack of common sense, please? Sorry, honey, but we ain't got nothing to fix that. Now you two try to take it easy, all right? I'll be back a little bit later on. All right, so they're just gonna uh, do their thing. All right, that's everyone. I'd better get on back to Mr. Morton. Do I have to? Does oh, Jesus Christ! That actually scared the Jesus out of me. Why did you come from over there? You were... Did you sneak around behind? What the freak? Dr. Ida, the phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it. No, you did not. The phone did not ring, I did not hear it, and you came from the wrong direction. And? The caller won't stop going on and on about rituals and demons, among other things that I don't understand. I think that it may be best that you talk to her. Uh, there's always something. I didn't get the chance to explore the operating room. Honey, honey, slow down. Ain't none of this making sense. Please, you have to get out of there right now. My boss just summoned an actual genuine demon, and now you're all in danger. Uh-huh, and who do you work for again? J.P. Vermander, madam. Who's that, doctor? He's some rich city boy who moved out here when he inherited his family's estate. A lot of folks around here have to pay him rent just because his family owns the land. Yes, that's him exactly. I don't know all the details, but there's a blood pact and a, a demon and a curse and all kinds of other stuff. You need to leave now. Once the clock strikes ten, you won't be able to leave. Honey, that's less than two minutes from now. Ain't no way we're getting everyone out of here that fast. My goodness, I didn't expect the stakes to be this high on my first night. But I'm committed at this point. Is there anything we can do to help our situation? I, I did go snooping into a few old journals kept by the Vermanders. Based on what I've read, if you can make it to sunrise, the demon will leave. But there's a bunch of rules you'll need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. Uh, for example, every hour until sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood, uh, specifically your blood. Its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you, so keep those closed. What room are you both in right now? The reception area. You'll need to keep that in mind, all right? When the demon arrives, make sure you're all in the same room as when the ritual started. What? If someone isn't, the demon will know. And once it knows where someone is, closing the doors won't stop it. If you're ready, I can tell you what to expect once 10 o'clock hits. I ain't about to let no demon run roughshod all over my house of healing. Just tell us what we need to do, honey. Okay, here's what's going to happen first. The demon places a lot of emphasis on windows for some reason, right? Windows? Like the man from the window? Are you serious? It'll try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. You're gonna need, and I cannot stress this enough, you're gonna need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open, the demon gets stronger, and you don't want that, all right? If you finish with everything you need to do before the hour is up, try staring at a clock. I'm sure it will help pass the extra time faster. I'll stay on the line just in case you need me to repeat something. Good luck and please be careful. All right, it's, it's doing its thing. So we need to close all the windows. 
Do we gotta get everyone into the same room? And it, do I need to get everyone into the reception or into a different room? Like, do we need to get everyone into the reception or into not the reception? Can I talk to you? Doctor, are things usually this hectic around here? Not really. We usually ain't got no more than about one or two patients here at, a, at once. But we got three in here tonight. That's not really what I meant. Oh, yeah, I'm so okay. Uh, window? Alright. Window? Alright. Hello? How are you doing? Tammy sits, happily humming to herself. Cool. So we are not moving her? Question mark? That window's open. Close that. Thank you. I don't like how he peers at me through the <laughs> through the wall. Through the uh, hallway, rather. That's all fine. That's all fine. How you doing? Hi. You're tired. On work. Sleep for a minute, then hand caught. You fell asleep at work and that's how that hand got like that? Yes. Oh, you poor thing. Well, at least try to get some rest while you're here, all right? I don't... I'm a little concerned for your well-being. Uh, how are you guys doing? I got... Four, I got 38 minutes. I know. The kids, Lane, did you even think about them? Their little hands are probably worried sick by now. I know. I owe them an apology for making them worry. And I owe you one, too. <laughs> You two all right in here? Yeah, we're fine. Uh-huh. Well, holler if y'all need something though, okay? Uh, all right. So I need to make sure doors are closed. 8A. Eight, eight ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Why? Ooh. Ooh. Why is 8A all... Okay. All turned up. Why is 8A scary? Kitchen? Can I look in the fridge? You know, the one that never has anything in it. It's dark. It's dork down here. This is the operating room. Hello? Can I take some- Oh! The pain meds are kept here. Uh, sure. I'll pick some up. In case I need them? I don't know. And yeah, that's the exit. Okay. So, I just have to make sure doors are closed. And windows are closed. And that's like it. Uh, it's 1041. Can I give you some pain meds or something? Doors close and head back to the reception? My doors are closed. And then I'm, am I, am I, yes? Uh, what are the instructions again? Sure thing. The demon will open up windows and you need to make sure to close them all. That's it for now. If you want to hear it, that's it. That's all I got to do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to stare at the clock. <laughs> Can I open the front door? I cannot. There's a little stoop out there. Can I click on the window? Oh, I can. Oh, the time was 11 p.m. This is just like the man from the window. Window. All the windows had been closed, and then it arrived. Is he gonna come from the exit door? Oh, he is gonna come from the exit door. Oh my god. It's the demon. Well, all the doors are closed, so you got nothing you can do. So go home now. Get on out of here. Get. Get on now. Get out of here. Here's what's going to happen next. There's something about the demon's power that resonates with TV signals, right? It will turn on any TV it can manage to gain access to. They never show anything besides static once it takes control, but that's still bad. If it happens, just turn the TV off. That'll kick it out for a while. But don't leave any TVs that it's controlling on, all right? It won't end well. Hmm. Doctor, you look tired. That's because I am. Then let me handle things this hour. You should rest. Oh, I'm Morton now. I don't trust Morton. Morton's new. I'm very tall. I'm very tall. Uh, okay. I barely fit through the door. All right, we're looking for TVs that are on. I want to leave these doors open so that when I come back, if any of them turn on partway through the hour, I'll notice. Anyone hiding in the bathroom? I am so tall. I'm so scared I'm going to go to the bathroom and see something in my reflection that I... Oh, hey there. Turn that crap off. Turn that crap off. Wait, hold on a minute. 3A. Oh, we're missing the giant axolotl lady. Uh, whatever her name was. Uh, oh, hi. How you doing? Hey, there's some lady in the mirror looking at me. I believe that's you, ma'am. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need you to get back to your room, please. <laughs> My bad. I'll go back now. Cool, so we need to keep an eye out for any of the, any of our guests that have wandered out of their room. Oh, hey, turn, close that. Keep that closed, all right? How you feeling, ma'am? Yeah, yes, okay. Excellent, that's exactly what I want to hear. So far, so good? Anything in, how you guys doing? 
the job, Lang. Now you're probably going to have to miss work. Who knows how they'll react? Heck, and now I'm missing work. I know. We'll be fine. Watch, come morning, I'm going to walk out of here good as new. Oh, I sure hope so. Okie dokie, everything looks okie dokie in here. Anything going on in 8A? I don't like 8A. 8A makes me nervous. Kitchen? Anything in the kitchen? Can I get some medication? I'll pick up the maids, just in case. All right, I don't see... I need to get the doors closed and head back to reception, I guess. Anybody's TV's turned on? Anybody's windows open up? No? Okie dokie. Bathroom's looking good. There's no TV in the bathroom. You made it back to your room. Okay, good, good, good. Okie dokie. Doctor, why is this hospital in the state that it's in? And what do you mean by that? Well, there's hardly any supplies here, and you seem to be understaffed. Plus, we're lacking a lot of modern equipment. Mr. Morton, we're a small hospital in an even smaller town. We ain't got much to work with here. We take what we have and we make it work. I see. Why did I transfer here? Did, it wasn't mine. A, did, was, didn't I have a transfer request? Like, I requested to come here. Is this thing turned on? Should it be? The time was 12 a.m. All the windows had been closed. All the televisions had been turned off. What are you doing? By this point, the pain meds given to Mr. Lang Boyd early in the day had started to wear- No! They didn't get their dosage! So despite his wife's insistence to stay put, he went to inquire about it? But I- And then it arrived. Oh no! Oh no! That's what the dosage was about! Oh, they dead. Oh, they hecka dead. Oh, the demon got him! Oh, the demon got him! On the day of his accident, Lang Boyd's mind was not on the potential consequences of his actions. Far from it, in fact. His mind was instead on how happy his wife and children would be after he cooked their favorite dinner. A dinner that he could not afford to make unless he used the money he'd been saving by cleaning the gutters himself. The grandest intentions had now unintentionally doomed their entire family. Oh no. Uh, what was that noise? Please, please tell me you didn't forget something. Uh, I forgot something, I guess? You can't let this, uh, this thing do any more damage than it already has. So please, try to focus. Listen to this. Here's what's going to happen this time. You'd be surprised by how much the demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access into the phone lines and try to gain power, too. If you notice the phone continuously ringing, then that's exactly what it's trying to do, all right? Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you'll need to pick the phone up and listen. Pay attention because this part is important. If you hear anything, and I mean anything, on the other end, you've got to recite this mantra. Your presence is not welcomed here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll remember it when the time comes. But if there's silence on the other end of the phone, then keep quiet. Silence means it hasn't properly figured out the phone's location yet, and you don't want to give it any clues, all right? Okay, I ain't as tired anymore. You can let me handle it this time. Sounds good to me, Doctor. You take this hour, and then I'll take the next. I even talked to... I... Oh, God, what are you doing here? Hello? Look, honey, you're in the waiting area. You need to go out and get yourself back to your room now. <laughs> My bad. I'll go back now. 11 p.m.? None? And 12 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, Jane Doe is 12 a.m. Oh, so I need to give some medicine to Jane. To Jane Doe. Okay, I, I see. I see what needs to be done. I don't think anything's gonna change halfway through, right? So I can I can close these now. Safe thing to do. You stay put. You're not Jane Doe. You're Tammy. Yes, with mood already. That's midnight, dar. That's midnight, darling. Ooh, he, he, he. I think that's in the room next door. Yep, sure is. It blinks. Okay. You listen closely. You can hear shallow breathing from the other side of the phone. Well, I, that's something. I'll recite the mantra. You can sense that the presence on the other uh, other end of the phone has departed. Okay. Here, this will help with ease of the pain. Yes, good. Also, turn that crap off. All right, so you're all dosed, dosed up. Get that crap closed. Well, that's a major bummer that I kind of let Lang get just murked. I'm not gonna get like the best ending, right? That's what's gonna happen. Am I gonna? I'm gonna have to do all of this like again and try to save everybody, right? All right, I think we're all checked out. Doors are closed and stuff. We'll just skip ahead. 
The time was 1 a.m. All the windows had been closed. All the tel televisions had been turned off. All the phones had been answered correctly. And then it arrived. Oh, no. Yep, you got nowhere to go. You got nothing to do, Mr. Demon. Back with ya. Back to the outdoors. You're not welcome here. Here's what's going to happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any lights it can gain access to, right? You'll know it's inside a room trying to siphon power when the lights start flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. What? Enter the room, close the door, shut my eyes. You're really going to need to use the space inside your mind to focus for this to work. Is that the space bar? Gotcha. You'll know it works when the lights stop flickering. And make sure you do it right, okay? If you don't, then... Then bad things. Okay, I'm Morton. Anything going on in here? Well, uh, the lights are flickering in here, so we're going to close that. Close my eyes. And back open. No more flickers. All right, we're good, we're good. That's terrifying. I better get a move on. I got to move, move on with my bad self. I don't know if I really need to close the doors of the rooms that... Uh, don't have people in them, I'll be honest with you. I'm so very tall. <sighs> hey now, don't you be call don't you be calling me. You listen closely. You don't hear anything from the other side of the phone. Then I'll say nothing. You can sense that the presence on the other end of the phone has departed. Okay, dope. Don't you be gaining no power now, you hear? Oh god, there you are. You need to get out of here. Hey, ma'am, please. Strange things are happening tonight, and I need you to get back to your room. <laughs> My bad. I'll go back now. I need to make sure that her door is closed. Are you back in here? You are. Good. And I don't think anything happens halfway through a shift. I think you just walk through, check everything, and you're good. Time was 2 a.m. Windows have been closed. Television's off. Lights aren't flickering. Phones have been answered. And then it arrived. Doom, 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 doom. I want to get a good look of this demon. I want to know what it looks like. I mean, not firsthand. I just like through the window or something, you know? Not like Lang Boyd. There's not even any scraps of him left. <laughs> There's one final thing this demon is going to try. Ritualistic candles. It has the power to manifest them inside its area of influence. It's vital and very, very important that if you see one, you extinguish it. If you let it keep burning, the demon will be able to draw power from it. It won't try anything new after it gets to this part, so you don't have to worry about any more new rules. Oh, and I almost forgot something. This part is important, too. Whatever you do, make sure you don't... Um... Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna just, uh... Make sure I don't do anything I shouldn't, I guess. Oh, oh, I saw something go around the corner. I saw that. There is something that went around the corner. I need to find those candles. Hello? Okay, you're like asleep. You can stay asleep, that's fine. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan. You listen closely. You don't hear anything from the other side. Then I'll do nothing. Alright, the creature has departed. I'm not a fan. Hello? Okay. Flickering? No. Nope. She's asleep. I'm gonna just let her let her lie. Everyone's been awake until two in the morning and Oh, two in the morning. That was like when the man in from the window like arrived in the first man in the window game. You know what I'm talking about? Man, all the, all the TVs. Wasn't there, has there been any flickering? There's a candle. All right. That's taken care of. Anything in there? Hello, Oregon? Nothing in Oregon. Okay, I'm gonna just run back. Maybe I'm not supposed to run. Maybe it was like, whatever you do, don't run. Don't run in the halls. No running in the halls. I'm going to close all the doors. I'm scared. I'm scared, Morton. 
Morton, I'm scared. <laughs> Uh, uh, we got nothing left to say. Oh no! Front door. Anything in here? I didn't see any flickering lights. I'm scared. I hope my brain didn't just like ignore the flickering light. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna peek ahead. The time was three. All the windows have been closed. The television's off. Phones answered. Candles extinguished. Whoa! But the light had been left lit. Wait, which light? Where? And suddenly the demon began to grow strong. No, and then it arrived. Wait, where? Wait, which room had a flickering light? Oh, how did I miss that? How did I? Oh, no. well, well. I mean, I mean, well, well. I mean, I mean, well. Okay, well, we're alive. Oh, do we just have to do it again? Okay, we have to survive until um, sunrise. Oh, oh, it's flickering in here. Close the door. One, two, we good? Okay, the light in here was flickering. Maybe that, I don't, I don't think that's what was flickering before, but okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I wanna know what Hannah was trying to tell us. Make sure you don't something. Close this to keep you alive. Everything in here looks fine. Fine. I hear a phone. Not the biggest fan of phone calls in general. I listen closely. You can hear faint whispering on the other end. I'll recite the mantra. They have departed. The phone's pretty easy because you can hear it. So is the TVs. I don't know how I missed the flickering light last time. Really, I, I do not know. It was like, whatever you do, don't open the fridge. <laughs> okay. I don't see any more flickering lights. I'm still nervous about leaving any doors open. Come on, close it up. After all that shenanigans about maybe I'm not supposed to look in the mirror or something. I don't know. Well, we annihilated that. That's it. What do you got for me? 4 a.m. Windows have been closed. Television's off. Lights aren't flickering. Phones have been answered. Candles extinguished. And then it arrived. I don't know when sunrise is. I'm guessing like five or six. So probably like one more round. One more go of it. I'm guessing. There he goes. There he goes. That's my boy. Yeah, one more round. Flickering light, this, the lights in here are always flickering. Okay, 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 okay. Turn you off. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, you scared me. Oh, I don't like that. It's in front of the door. Oh, I don't like anything to do with this. I got the goosebumps. I listen closely. I hear faint whispering. Oh, I got goosebumps. You know, the man from the window was, like, funny more than it was spooky. This game's giving me the, the goosebumps a little bit. It had a jump scare early on with Morton. And now we got, like, that weird demon guy who looked an awful lot like Boyd, I'll be honest with you. Oh, well. Checking in here. I don't feel good about this. There we go. I had a crouch. Oh my god. I saw you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to eat you. I'm crazy. I'm crazy like a fox. Was that supposed to be like the ghost of Boyd? It kind of looked an awful lot like Boyd. Like with gray fur. Am I crazy? You got anything for me, Morton? Nope, it's just us. Oh my god, I got the goose bumples. All right, did I do it all? Did I get it all right? The time was 5 a.m. All the windows have been closed. Television's off. Lights aren't flickering. Phones answered. Candles extinguished. The sun began to rise. Oh, the sun will come out tomorrow. It began to rise in our little town, and the demon could not stay in this world much longer. It had already fulfilled its side of the Vermander Pact, so it departed from this world back to whence it came. 
Dr. Ida and Nurse Mor Morton had both survived. They were finally safe. Ooh, I wonder if we were getting those, like, oh, ghostly images because we let Langboy die. However. Oh, no. What do you mean, however? What do you mean, however? An investigation into the two different disappearances that happened that night was launched. An investigation that was comp uh, compromised by Vermander's influence. Despite their innocence and the lack of evidence, both Ida and Morton were charged and convicted in connection with the disappearances. Without Dr. Ida to run things, the hospital that had faithfully served the community for decades now stood abandoned. Unable to get the medical help that they so heavily relied on, the town suffered. But none had suffered as much as Morton's daughter, who suddenly had to grow up without her father. She was alone in a completely unfamiliar town, all through no fault of her own. The only other person who knew the truth left was Hannah. But soon, she too had suddenly disappeared. And upon searching her home, the only thing found was a strange lit candle. In the end, J.P. Vermander got to keep his extra 1%. And that's all that mattered. Oh my god! What, what a story of greed! Um, that was amazing. That was really good. Uh, we gotta do this right this time. We gotta, we gotta save Boyd. I got a star! But we gotta, we gotta save Boyd this time, so we gotta go back in. Oh, the time's changed. So Jane Doe is now at 11, and Lang Boyd is at 1. Alright. And Tammy still has none. Oh, and they're in different rooms! 2A, 4A, and 1A. Uh, the rooms don't really matter all that much to me because they go back to their own rooms on their own and I'll, I'll figure out where they are here in just a second. But the rooms and times change. So we just got to make sure. I'm, I got to go get all that medication. I'll check in with everybody and see if I have to talk to them for any reason. But I think for the most part, as long as I keep all their doors closed and just check in on them and grab that medication, we'll be, we'll be good. I grabbed the medication, and I believe it's 11, which means to right now, Jane needs the medication first. Madam, I brought you your scheduled pain medication. Yes, good, good, very good. So you shouldn't be a problem. And then I got a couple more hours before I have to worry about Lang this time. So we should be good. Hopefully that means Jane doesn't die, right? Time is now midnight. Windows closed. Phones answered. It arrived. Okay. We should be good. Great. And the next hour should be, I think, the TVs I have to worry about. But then no medicine. And then the next hour after that. Gotta make sure I get Lang all medicated and see if you got new stuff to say after that point. Because this is the point where he died, I think, in the first one. Because he needed medication at 11. So he might, not have, he might have new stuff to say. Just promise me you won't be doing any something reckless like that again, alright? As of tonight, I am officially staying far, far away from the roof. And ladders, too. Unless we can save some extra money if I look. Ha ha, I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Alright, I just wanted to check in on you guys. Just checking in. Jasmine! What? Thanks for staying here with me. I'm sorry to put you through all this. I'm just glad you're okay. We can deal with everything else later on. I gotta bring him... Did I hear something just now, or am I crazy? I need to bring them their medication this hour. Oh, flickering lights. Oh, baby. This is this is what murked me like... Oh, God darn it. Come on, close your eyes. There we go. I need to bring you your medication this hour. We good? Okay. I don't like going into a bathroom and just... I'm like closing my eyes and just hanging out. It's just not a fun time. Well, man, I think my head's finally starting to clear. That stuff works wonders, I'm telling you. Had a tooth pulled and didn't even feel a thing. I don't remember her saying that last time. I don't remember her saying any of that. Keeping my eyes peeled for any weirdness. There's got to be like a different ending, obviously, if we don't let anyone die. Hey, now, close that up. All right, pain meds. Yep, I need some meds. I need some medication. That's closed. All right, I got to run over back to Boyd. Give you your medication. Sir, I've brought you your scheduled pain medication. Just in time, my back was starting to act up again. Whew. Now you guys just hang in there. You just chill out, all right? And plenty of time. So much time. I'm so quick. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just the best at fighting demons. 2 a.m. After this point, I think everyone goes to bed. We don't have to worry about medication. So we just got to get through this and then a couple more hours and we're, we're scot-free. I like how the demon gets right, like, nose against the wall and then just angrily huffs there. <laughs> just like, mm. <laughs> I can't do anymore. I can't go any further. Oh, he's such an angry boy. He's an angry demon. A demon very angry. He hasn't gotten a feast tonight. There's a candle at the very end. 
the that's the most nervous candle. It's the candle that makes me pee the most. Come on, close up. I leave all doors closed. You don't hear anything. Say nothing. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we got the flickering light situation. Three, two, one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. There he is. I wonder if it's like, don't stare at him for too long. Like if you see him, don't hang out for too long or something. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about leaving this door open while he was on the other side. Okay. Morton, you still chill? You haven't been possessed by a demon or something? You still chill, Morton? Okay. Here goes nothing. All right, did we survive? The time was 5 a.m. Windows have been closed. Television's off. Lights have been off. Phones are answered. Candles extinguished. The sun began to rise in our little town, and the demon could not stay in this world much longer. However, in direct violation of the Vermander Pact, no blood had been spilled that night. The most important part of the pact had not been fulfilled, which meant that the agreement was now null and void. After generations of being enslaved to the Vermander family, the demon was finally free? And though it did not have much time left, it knew exactly how it wished to spend its final moments. What? Is it gonna go eat Vermander? Oh my god, it is. That's the Vermander door. Dobby has a sock? Hannah, what in the world are you doing back here this early? Mm. Hannah! Da, da, da. Oh, it's you. Don't you have some work to be doing? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you go forgetting that you work for me, mister. I command you to get out of here. Why won't you listen to me, you stupid... The angry howls of the demon echoed throughout the town that morning, and then the estate fell deathly quiet. As it turned out, Hannah hadn't left the Vermander estate that previous night. She had been far too tired to return home after feeding instructions through the phone all night. Instead, she fell asleep in one of the manor's empty rooms. She was awakened by the awful noises emitting from upstairs. Hannah climbed the stairs and quickly made her way over to the office. No, don't do that. Inside, there lie J.P. Vermander. Beaten, unmoving, and absolutely mangled. But against all the odds, he was still alive. Hannah had a choice to make. A large part of her wanted to simply leave him there, to give him the same disrespect and disregard that he showed to others. She turned to leave. But deep down, she knew that this wasn't the right thing to do. As bad as, as he was, she would not stoop to his level. So instead, she called for help. And does he go to the hospital? In an ironic turn of events, J.P. Vermander's life was saved at the very same hospital he had tried to rid himself of. Despite their rightful and justified anger at the man, Dr. Ida and Nurse Morton treated him no different than any other patient. And he was soon on the road to a full recovery. During his stay in the hospital, he was given a room near the front. Day after day, he watched the patients as they came and went. He watched as the hospital's only doctor and sole nurse did their best to help every person that arrived. And as he watched, he realized something. Those confusing numbers on that little piece of paper actually meant something. Those numbers represented actual people, people with lives and emotions. People that just wanted to get the help they deserved. It took a near-death experience at the hands of an angry demon and an intensive stay in the hospital, but J.P. finally felt something that no Vermander had felt for a very long time. Remorse. And he vowed he would do everything in his power to try and make amends. Oh, the story of redemption! Oh, wait, did he stand up? However, due to the pact being broken, most of the wealth and power it granted was soon lost to crippling debt. With no other options, JP sold off his estate and assets to pay his dues. And the last remaining bit of his fortune was donated to the hospital. 
As a sign of goodwill, Dr. Ida let him stay in one of their vacant rooms till he could get back on his feet. He is currently working as a food delivery driver to make ends meet as he wasn't qualified for anything else. Though he does miss his money and his old lifestyle, in the end, he's just thankful to still be alive. He's gonna get room number eight. Morton settled into his new job as nurse just fine. Despite the rough first night, he grew to love the strange new town and its people. In the end, he knew that the decision to move here was the best one for both him and his daughter. Ida is still the best and only doctor in town. She plans to use the donation money to renovate the hospital so that they can provide the best care possible for years and years ahead. And now that they had an actual budget, she decided to hire, uh, hire on an accountant. Hannah happily accepted the position, as her old job was no longer available. She's glad to finally have a boss that appreciates her hard work. And though it took a while, she did eventually forgive Vermander for all his misdeeds. The hospital had a bright future ahead of it, and everyone was on good terms. And that's all that mattered. Oh. Okay. Okay, that was the Vermander curse. Three stars. I only I only had one last time. I don't know if uh, I'm sure there's probably a star you get for like dying. Probably right. Like this is the one where you survive, but someone dies. This is the one where like if you die, and then like this one's like the, the one where everyone lives. Maybe I don't know. That was the Vermander curse though. And now we know who JP Vermander was. There's a bunch of other like Zed Technician games, but that's the three that I think are man from the window related. You let me know in the comments below if I should play the other games. But until, until then, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.